Good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing today? <clears throat> Welcome on in. Let's get the appropriate hat on, too. That's kind of important. Hello, Laka. How are you? Hello, hello. Well, welcome back, everybody, to our Long Dark Interloper file, which we are now 555 days in. And we're in zone of contamination. Spray Tech, hey, brother, how you doing, buddy? How's it going, Spray Tech? Good to see you, man. And thank you, everybody who's helped out with the GoFundMe for my brother so far. And I also put the, the money from Ari, Chris, and Faith in there as well. Um, I'm doing good, Spray Tech. It was kind of a wild day yesterday with my with my brother's house <laughs> getting a tree through it, which was pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, you had crappy sleep again? Oh no, I'm so sorry, Laka. But this, all this week, we're going to be having the GoFundMe going for my brother, and we're going to be raising some money for, for him to help with some of his uh, out-of-pocket expenses as well as to help cover his, um, help him cover some of his uh, deductible with his insurance company as well. So, yeah, I went over there yesterday, and it was pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, it was, it was nuts, dude. I mean, it went right through, it went like right through his kitchen and his living room and right out the other side, right into his neighbor's place. I mean, it, it just, it took the roof out. It took, it, it hit so hard that he's got a patio in his back, in his back area where the tree fell on it. It popped the patio up about, I don't know, about five inches. It like popped the whole concrete slab up because it hit so hard. It was pretty nuts. Pretty nuts, but yeah, he didn't ask for a drive-through. Exactly, he didn't ask for a drive-through. Man, did not ask for that drive-through at all. But the GoFundMe is up. Uh, you can you can type uh, ex exclamation point, I believe, fundraiser um, in either of the chats, and it should it should pull it up. I think both in the YouTube as well as the. Yep, it pulled it up in both of them, YouTube as well as Twitch. So, so there, there, it, there it is there, and we've so far raised two hundred and sixty dollars for it. So, I appreciate each and every one of you who's uh, done some donating there on it. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that very much. We're trying to raise about three grand for him because three grand is like the minute. That's like the minimum for him to be able to take care of his. Uh, his uh, insurance deductible, and then he's also just going to need some money to, you know, kind of do some stuff. He's got he's got to pay out of pocket. They'll pay him back, but he's got to pay out of pocket to get that tree out of his house. So, yeah, that's that's all sorts of fun. All sorts of fun. Tegeta, how you doing? Yeah, we're d doing well. I may go out. I haven't heard back from him, but they're coming out to they're coming out to chop the tree down today, and I may go out this afternoon. I may go out this afternoon to help him clear some stuff out after he gets uh, after he gets that tree out of his place. So let's get back. So today we are on our zone of contamination run. We are in we are in zone of contamination. I've got that gut and that hide. I've got another hide and guts here. Oh yeah, I've got intestinal parasites too. <laughs> got intestinal parasites as well. That's fabulous news. Yeah, gosh, I got I got all the stuff. Holy crud. Well, you know, uh I'm doing as well as I can to get it. I mean you know, it, it's one of those things where, you know, it, it's happened at this point. We're just kind of cleaning up the mess. You know, my brother's got me and my mom and, and the whole family around him supporting him. So, 
you know, we can only do so much, but, um, you know, we're, we're doing the best we can with it, so. Uh, don't know. Don't know. The, the tree guys are coming out today to take a look at it. I, I have a feeling it, the tree was just old, and, uh, we had a lot of very kind of wild, uh, cold, cold, wet weather this last winter, and it's it, the same weather. I think the same weather that, like, crack the roots in my mom's apple tree probably had its wicked way with this tree as well that would be that would be my guess is that it just kind of it it kind of all played into each other so my my guess is it it took down my it took down this stuff as well But yeah, don't don't really know because uh, you know they 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 have to come out and you know chop it down. But uh, he hasn't really heard back yet what exactly is going on with it. So, but yeah, there was no storm or anything. No, it's it's been actually really decent weather, really decent weather out. So, don't know why it came down. I mean, it is. it was an older tree, so it could have just been it was an old tree, and it decided to give up the ghost. Which wouldn't surprise me at all. <clears throat> Alright, let's eat down a couple cattails. Oh, man. We gotta make it back to the. Gosh, I was hope I was hoping the, uh, hoping the damn uh, weather would kind of go away, like it would clear up because we got a fog storm out there right now. Actually, let's equip our crappy bow. Yeah, insomnia risk is almost gone. I think it's late enough. Yeah, we can we can take our our tea. And that did that did that did give us a dose. That's nice. Yeah, I, I just have a feeling that the combo of uh, the storm, uh, the, the stormy weather we had this winter, I have a feeling the combo of that along with the kind of cold temperatures we had that was freezing all the water, uh, probably broke the roots or got into the roots and messed it up and. And the rest is history. And the tree came down. But we got the GoFundMe going for the next week. We're gonna just gonna do that this week uh, and see if we can see if we can raise all or part of that money for him. Um, I appreciate everybody who's like given money already. Rusty Brazen Fire donated like two hundred and fifty dollars yesterday, which was just amazing. And Faith, Ari, and Chris all uh, all together got another ninety dollars, which I went ahead and put towards the GoFundMe today. Um, so thank you to them as well, and thank you to everybody else who's uh, who's uh, donated as well. I appreciate it very much. Y'all are very very generous, and and I appreciate appreciate it. All right, we're gonna make our way back up to the cave up here. Is this the way? This is not, that is not the way. That is not the way. I was thinking that was the way. It's hard to tell in the fog. Hard to tell in the fog. Well, I mean, we've got a pretty good map of this here. Got a pretty good map of this here. We need to map up up here, though. And then we also need to come back and map this area over here. Okay, so that way goes up to the mine. I want to go over this way towards the cave where we killed the bear. The lighting, the lighting in this cave is kind of weird. You'll notice it glitches from being like really bright to really dark, really bright to really dark kind of odd inside this cave. I don't know why. 
Oh, hey, my insomnia risk yield. Is, is, is the, is the, uh... Is the fog storm gone now? No. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it is gone. Okay. Okay, it is gone. Interesting. Is my brother okay? Uh, yeah, he's okay. Yeah, the, uh, he, he was he was he was working, and his wife and daughter were working at the same time. So um, they they were all out of the house. Luckily, when it happened, it, the the only one that was home was their the guy that lives with them, their roommate, um, and uh, uh, the guy that like rents a room from them. And uh, and luckily, he was in his bedroom when it happened, so he was not like in the in the he was like close. And it probably scared the crap out of him, but he was not actually in any danger, so. That's, that's the good news. Okay, so there's that rope there. So yeah, luckily, luckily nobody got hurt. It did. It did hit the neighbor. It did hit the neighbor's uh, uh, house as well, but uh, nobody was hurt there either. So now, now he's just he's gonna have you know having he's gonna have to go through dealing with the insurance company and all that fun stuff, you know. And of course, the insurance company's first question was, "Why do you think the tree fell on your house?" I don't know. Gravity. Because God was pissed off at me? I don't know. I just thought it was hilarious. That was like one of the one of the questions they asked. Yeah, because gravity... Yeah, because Morgan Freeman foretold it. <laughs> to be to tell him to be careful if there's a witch under all the rubble wearing ruby slippers. Fact. Yeah, Hercules. Yeah, gravity sometimes be like that. Gra gravity's a harsh mistress that pulls things down some days. Yeah, insurance is always the fun part. Luckily, luckily, my mom went through that about a couple of years ago. She, she's had. She's had some pretty recent experience with the insurance company, so she's able to kind of give my brother some uh, uh, some help, you know, kind of figuring some of that out. Um, I just saw a thermos behind you. Oh, the that, that one there? Yeah. Yep, there's a thermos behind me. So my mom just went through that because her... She, her uh, she had a pipe burst in her house and and and, uh, and flooded. So she she just went through a whole thing with the insurance company. So she's gonna help my brother, kind of like you know figure out some of the things that he needs to do. But yeah, what a what a pain in the ass! <laughs> what an absolute pain in the ass! But, you know, as somebody was saying in chat earlier, look, you know, nobody was hurt, so that's that's the most important part. Nobody was hurt at all, so, you know, everything material can be replaced. Life and limb cannot be, so. Huh. 
I still can't believe I ate raw raw bear meat. It got intestinal parasites. What a rookie move. You can find a place to rest. Yeah, well, we'll get a place to rest up here pretty quick, buddy. We're all we're almost at the cave, my friend. Almost at the cave. But yes, one of uh, Rusty Brazenfire made up the uh, the flask behind me there, uh, Monado Blade, and uh, sent it to me. So. You can only imagine those people living in the Tornado Channel in the U.S. They always have to face the worst. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm very glad I'm in Oregon. We have very we have very temperate weather compared to most places in the U.S. We don't get tornadoes, hurricanes, really don't get flash floods. Don't really get earthquakes, nothing like that. Hey, hey, Ari, how you doing, buddy? How are you doing? All right, we need to drop some stuff here. That's cured. That's fresh. Fresh, 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 and fresh. There we go. That's more charcoal for us. And there's cattails. Okay, so I got more cattails here too. Okay, so goody, I left a bunch of stuff here for myself. That's cured, that's cured. These are all cured. Fabulous news. Just sent in a donation. Thanks for organizing the fundraiser. Best of luck to all your brother and your family. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate it, brother. Yeah, so far, so far we've raised... So far, we've raised two, two, two a little, just uh, like 260 bucks on it. I did, I did, Ari, I took the money that uh, both you and Chris and Faith uh, gave yesterday to both through Super Chats and and here on, on, uh, on tw Twitch as well. And I put that, I put that towards it too. And I put that towards the, uh, towards the um, GoFundMe. So thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it so very much. We do have that GoFund, GoFundMe going, and we're going to be doing that probably for the next, uh, um, we're probably going to be doing that for this next week, maybe even longer, um, but we're going to try to get all that for him, so at least, at least he can cover his, uh, uh, that would be enough for him to cover his deductible with his insurance company, but he's also going to have a lot of out of, out of pocket expenses for them coming and doing the tree, which, you know, insurance will reimburse him later on for but of course he has to pay that out of pocket ahead of time so that's always fun but thank you chris very much i i really do appreciate that my friend peace dog how you doing buddy hello hello but yeah when i got out there yesterday good golly that was crazy that was absolutely nuts how 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 much damage that tree could do The meat raw and cooked looks so similar. Happened to me twice. I, I have to. I um, uh, I and I didn't have to look at two chat channels. <laughs> okay, let's drop some more sticks here. We got a bunch of sticks. All right. So, how much charcoal do I have right now? Okay, I got a lot of cured hides and stuff too. Um, I'm almost thinking, I'm almost thinking we'd go up this direction and then come back around and get all of our clothing fixed. Because we got enough hides to do it, and we got guts here to do it too. I've got a deer hide, I've got a couple of those. Let's, let's let that stuff kind of cure here, I guess. Gonna let that kind of sit here and percolate for a little bit. Actually, what I could do, here's the, here's the other thing I could do. I leave all this here, 
and then I could come back. I could just go grab my my fur clothing and bring it back with me. That would probably be the smarter of the moves. We'd have to leave enough stuff here though that we could do that. I do have I do have a lot of charcoal on me, which is good. I, I like having that. We don't need Mr. Rock here. But I do need to get some sleep because I'm super tired. Oh boy. Let's grab a thing of water. Yeah, the they it I the the meat being looking very similar kind of threw me off, but I, I just to be honest, Tegeta, I just wasn't paying attention. I was I was watching I was looking at chat, I was chatting, I was you know, I was just kinda of going along doing my thing. And that meat kinda of, that meat kinda of got me, you know. The meat got me, and that that was totally my fault. I have nobody to blame but myself. Aw, oh, thanks, Tegeta. Yeah, I, I hope it progresses fast too, but you know, whatever we can raise for him is, is helpful. I mean, because he's he's got he's just got a lot of stuff on his plate right now and and uh, you know, this is one less thing he'll have to worry about. So whatever we can raise for him, even if we don't get the full amount, I'm very thankful for everybody who's who's contributed. And uh, you know, whatever we can raise will be will be will be good. So let's go ahead and get three more hours of sleep. And having the GoFundMe, having the GoFundMe up really helps. So, and of course, you know, any sort of any, if, if somebody doesn't feel comfortable with the GoFundMe, if they if they do a super chat or they they do a tip here on Twitch and say, hey, this is for your brother, I'll just go and put it into the GoFundMe eventually myself. So, um, I'll make sure it gets to him one way or the other. All right, so we got all that stuff. We got all that stuff. Yep, every buck, every buck counts, exactly. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of food here. All right, we'll leave that bear meat here. We're gonna grab our rabbit pies. We're gonna grab our, get our bow out. Grab a few sticks as we go. I think I, I, think I want to map up in this area next. We'll kind of get up high here and map this. because We haven't mapped any of this area going back up to where we need to go. So let's go up high. Do I hear a wolf? That's always not a good sign. There we go. They gave us a little bit, a little bit of mappy map there. Excellent. You always have to manually equip that crappy bow. If I just auto equipped it, it would automatically give me the better bow, which I don't want. Let's go into the mine here real quick. get warmed up in here and then we'll go out and map the uh map the front of it but we'll search it up too so this this is another oh and there's another cherry can here cooking with gas. wow cooking with gas See, there's another there's another rope here too we could we could go down the mine here if we wanted to but we're a little too heavy for that now Yes, it is, because we got a big old jerry can on us. Let's see, can I repair a piece of clothing up while we're here? No, I can't. Can I do anything about my tools while we're here? Nope. 
Oh, I could actually... No, I... Do I want to prepare those up? I have enough teas. I don't think I need to prepare those up. So I think we're good. Nope, let's go ahead and just pass a little time. There we go. Let's drink a little water. Now let's step outside and uh, map real quick. There we go. We got the mine. Oh, we, we have to go around this way. I was thinking, thinking we could cut through that, but the game's like, no. Good luck with that, buddy. Oh, you freaking, freaking fricker to frickers. Are you freaking kidding me? We got it. We got another fog storm. Got another freaking fog storm. Of course we did. Wow. At a relocated base in an overhauled region in uh, Planet Crafter as it had some secret trees in it. Some secret trees? Ooh ha ha. Well, tomorrow we are going to be playing Planet Crafter, boys and girls. We're going to start over, start with a brand new, a brand new e Planet Crafter, actually. Something's got to go. Which I'm super excited about. Unfortunately, I can't see crap in this. Hey, Dante. Welcome on in. How you doing, buddy? Oh. Might as well go find something. Too cold to think. Let's see if we can find it here. Some birch bark, that's always good. Another mushroom's good. It's incredible all they added to this game. Oh, yeah. It is really cool, everything they've added to this game. killed the deer before. Hey, there's a cashier. What'll I have in it? A can of corn? What? It actually had something useful in it? No way. A can of corn? The Clipper Fog should be in every region. No, please don't tell him that. Oh, for the love of God, no. <laughs> For the love of God, no glimmer fog in every region. 
That would that would suck so hard. Yeah, we ain't starving tonight, boys and girls. At least I sorta of know sorta of know where we are. I got very lucky on that on that. A can of corn and a stash? Nice stash. Now, there's going to be wolves down here, I'm pretty sure. Let's just say I wouldn't be surprised. Gotta follow L pipeline back here. To the old uh, concentrator area. Oh, don't start in on the music with me. Uh, game's getting wacky. Corn equals Briar House Pie. There's like a... Uh, there's like two recipes to take the corn, I think. I think, uh, I think, uh... The ranger stew? No, Thompson's, fa Thompson's family stew take it. And that's it. Yeah, Briarhouse pie takes ptarmigan, rabbit, and venison. It's that Thompson family stew that needs that... Really, dude? Really? Really, bro? So yeah, it's Thompson's family stew that takes the corn. The Briar House pie is just the, uh, it's just the, uh, the meats. You need lots of them, though, too. You need the meat from everybody. I do not like this at all. Is that a piece of metal? Piece of metal. It's a piece of metal right there. Bye, George. home now. Good God, look at all the stuff we have here. Um, okie dokie. Guess one good way to spend some of our time is make ourselves some, uh, arrows here real quick. Get us warmed up a little bit. Nice, there we go. Um, pair up our, uh, hacksaw as well, because why not? There's our poor deer skin boots. Deer skin pants. Rabbit skin mittens. <laughs> All this gear is slowing me down. Shh. At least we can repair up. Let's repair up the boots once. Just can't sleep. I just need to close my eyes. Or chemical boots there. Is 
There's our full set of, uh, of funky gear. Um, actually, I can just rip those apart. Do I have more cloth in here by chance? Hey, Henrik, how you doing? Good evening. All right, we got more leather in here. There's more cloth there. And I've got cattails and rabbit hides in here. Excellent. Get the rabbit gloves back up to 100%. There we go. I have no water on me, so let's grab a little bit of water here. Feels like a lot of gear. That's because it is a lot of gear. Because we have this ginormous jerry can on us, too. We've got three jerry cans just sitting here now. I think one of them has nothing in it. And yeah, that one is completely empty. Got my flasks here full of stuff as well. Let's see, rose hip, coffee, birch bark, and mushroom teas. There's, there's all my mushroom teas. There's all my mushroom teas that I had. Rose hip tea. Coffee, I'm gonna take a couple coffees out. Birch bark tea. Take those out as well. Actually, I'll just leave those there for right now. How many plays do I have going on right now? I have t I have two. I have me. I have me. I have me. Endless dark. I have my end endless night gunloper run, which we're doing every other day, and then we have this run, which we are now 556 days in on, um, and we're doing this run as well. So we have two we have two different runs going right now one of them we do on uh monday monday thursday saturday and the other and the gun the endless night one we do on tuesdays tuesday friday sunday there we go freaking zig zigzag wolves i got wrecked to two percent yesterday in pleasant valley near preppers cash those damn di zigzagging wolves i swear Never trust, never trust a zigzagging wolf, man. We'll eat this can of corn down, because why not? But yeah, I've got the two runs going right now. This one, this one is our long run. This one, this one is the mapping run. We, we're mapping up zone of contamination. We pretty much mapped every other, every other zone in the game we've got mapped at this point. Except for Zone of Contamination. Zone of Contamination is the one we're working on right now. And we gotta go we gotta go back and map up some of this area. We gotta map up it. There's an area over here we have to map. Unfortunately, we keep getting bombarded by these stupid electrostatic fog storms, so we can't get anything done. Which is just annoying. Hey Beetlebee, how you doing? Oh yeah, no, that, that tree, that tree destroyed the entire kitchen and living room. Fell right through it, Beetlebee. It was nuts. And it also went into the neighbor's, neighbor's house as well a little bit. Yeah, it was pretty nutty. Alright, let's go ahead, actually, let's take our medicine. Yeah, other than the house damage and, you know, just kind of like, you know, he's just having to chill. Uh, you know, he's staying, he's going to stay at my mom's and probably, probably going to look at getting like a, uh, um, what you call it, one of those extended stay places that they can stay at while their house gets taken care of. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of sucky. Something woke me up again. Uh, 
Uh, my brother's my brother's house had a tree fall on it yesterday, Heinrich. Where uh, we uh, actually got a little uh, fundraiser going for it to help him out with some of his expenses. So you can see, you can go see see at least one of the pictures there. There's one of the pictures there. Okay, so this is annoying. I just keep getting woke up. Keep getting woke up by stuff. But yeah, he got he got his house got smacked by a big old tree in his yard. So I've just gotta I'm doing a little fundraiser to help him out, you know, with some of his expenses and stuff. Wow. Uh, nope, luckily him and his wife and his stepdaughter were all out of the house and uh, and the only one there was their, the, the guy that's renting a room from them. He was there, but he was luckily not in the not in the line of line of fire, so to speak. So circumstances it, it happened at a good time of day because nobody was out in the kitchen or you know cooking anything nobody was in the living room doing anything so fortunately nothing nobody was injured that that's the good news unfortunately his house is pretty much that back half of his house is just gone damn beavers those damn beavers Nah, I think it was it was just an old tree and I have a feeling that it probably its roots just gave out. This happens. I'm just gonna tear these all down, make sticks out of them. We're just kind of wasting time until the storm goes away now. It's like all I wanna do, all I wanna do is map, and the game's like, nah. Hold my beer. Excuse me. How many sticks do I got now? 68? Okay, yeah, I can drop some of those. Look at all this coal that we have, too. Good God, man. Drop all that coal there, too. All right, let's prepare up our birch bark. Storm just don't want to go away, does it? All right, so I got the arrowheads there. I do have some scrap metal and wires here. Oh, I got that cured birch. Oh, I guess, I guess we can take that cured birch and turn it into a, uh, turn it into arrow shafts. Might as well. I think we have like 12 days of parasites left. 13 days, 13 days of parasites left. Okay, the storm is now passed. That's good news. Let's go ahead and throw these arrow shafts in there. Let's throw that maple in there. Those in there. Feathers in there. Put the burdock root in there. Actually, I have enough to make another. Uh, I have enough to make another prepper's pie. Right now, I think. Yes, I do. I have enough stuff to make another prepper's pie. I could use a drink. I know you could, buddy. Just chill out. Um, I'm going to take a few more cattails just to have them. That is a lot of blue flares, I tell you, man. Is that a... I, I think I hear a dog out there. Yipping away. So 
but yeah we got 13 days of parasites left so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun times I'm gonna get nice and full on cattails for the moment and then then we're gonna then we're gonna head out and see if we can take care of that wolf yeah unfortunately Heinrich I ate a piece of raw bear meat which gave me intestinal parasites which is totally my own fault I mean that's that's not on anybody other than me but it kind of sucked too heavy So yeah, we've got 13 more day days of intestinal parasites to go. I see where that I see where Mr. Wolf went to. I know he's around here somewhere. I don't see him, but I know he's here somewhere. I absolutely hate the poison wolves. They're like the worst. Okay, we're gonna hide up here in this corner. We got a map. Okay, that gave us a nice little clear area. That's cool. Gonna ride the cliff a little bit. I don't see him down there. Yeah, we got all that mapped up all we got that mapped up fine. Let's head up this way. See if we can get some more mapping done. Gotta take advantage of the good weather while it's here, my friends. Cause it ain't gonna be here for long. <laughs> Sounds like a rejected title for Eddie Money Song. 13 Days of Parasites. I got... 13 days of parasites. A pack their bags will meet tonight. 13 days of parasites. It does sound like a song from the 80s, though. Let's climb up here and we're going to map again. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, see we got that whole air that whole area there that's just gonna be like one little black blob. Freezing. 
What, we can't get off this direction? Really? This is like one dead end over here. Really? Really, game? Really? You get you gonna you gonna do you gonna play me that way, game? Seriously, game? You gonna toy with my emotions that way? Xenon would be in trouble without the Skyrim collisions. <laughs> we do we do a little a little Skyrim mountain goat in here and there, that is for sure. Oh, you little bastard. Come back here. We'll grab a cattail down here. Why not? We are a little on the chilly side. Rabbits, though, are always a good thing to practice your long shots on. If you can hit a rabbit at long distance, you certainly can hit a bear or a wolf or a moose. Or even if you get close, even if you get close and miss the rabbit, you're still you're still like going for it, you know, you can still easily hit a wolf or a bear or a moose at that same distance. So, it's all it's always good to practice on them. They don't do nothing to you if you miss, so Except they laugh at you, but that's that's about it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Build a fire up in here somewhere. Uh, this looks like a good spot. Somewhere where it's a little bit protected. I bet we can get a Maglin's fire. Yes, we can. Yeah, there we go. Maglin's fire is always a good fire. And thank you, uh, we got another $50 donation to the GoFundMe. We're up to $310 on the GoFundMe, boys and girls. Thank you so much to everybody who has donated and participated with that. I appreciate it so very much. And I know my brother will as well, so thank you everybody for that. Everybody's been so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we need to get that prepper's pie made up, too, before I forget about it. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and get our skillet down. Oh, there we go. And get our pot down. The first fire I ever saw actually started with a mag lens. Mag mag lenses, uh, mag lenses are the best way if you can get away with it. It saves you on matches. Okay, can I make any other stuff? No, I can't. Okay, let's just get, let's get these acorns, get these acorns harvest done up. Now the cool thing about these acorns is we can eat them down to a little bitty bite, and this little last portion we have, we can actually use that 
to, um... We can actually use that to, uh, uh, crush into acorn grounds, which they'll probably remove at some point, but you can do it right now. So you can eat, eat most of it and then crush the rest of it down. And get acorn grounds out of it, which is nice. There we go, eat the rabbit, eat the rabbit, eat the rabbit. Alright, so that sort of cleared that up there. Yeah, we got this big black blob between us. That's a mountain there though too, so that's gonna be gonna be a little harder to map up there. Alright, so there's another prepper's pie. Now the reason the prepper pie are so nice, the prepper's pie gives you back 25 health in one shot. You get 25 health back from eating a, pre a full prepper's pie. Which is really super nice. It can save your life. It's like it's like a stim and a half of, of health, because a stim gives you 15 health back. So it gives you more it gives you more health back than a stim. And it allows you to Oh, we don't have any water on us at all, do we? So it gives you more health back than a stim with no, none of the bad side effects of the stim. Which is really cool. Alright, let's go ahead and take our medicine. Should take us down to 12. Yep, there we go. Down to 12. Excellent. Cook up our birch bark and our birch bark. And let's cook up the acorns and a rose hip. Something's making me feel tired. Probably because we're tired. Yeah, precious. Yeah, those pies are precious when we're in the poison wolf area. That is for sure. We got nothing left to cook. Excellent. See, I want to go right up there and go across. That's that's how we're going to map that area up there. We're going to go sleep in the mine, I think, tonight. Hello, stick. The mine is right up here in front of us. We're we we're, we're right here, and the mine is right over here. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go to sleep in the entrance of the mine. Mine, mine, mine. I, I, I. Just gotta go down here a little bit. Nine, 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 nine. <clears throat> and then we're gonna get our, we're gonna be able to get our deer skin, clothing fixed up. Hello, bunny. Oh, you don't have to be afraid of me. I don't. I'm not gonna kill you. Will you be my friend? Will you be my friend, little bunny buns? I won't kill you. I promise. He's like, no, I've seen you kill all my friends and all my other friends. I won't let you get me too. Well, I do have a I do have a history of rabbit of rabbit killing, so I get it. I get why he'd be concerned. Woo. Yawny yawns. All right.
get enough water in us actually let's go ahead and drink down a couple of the tea or a tea here there we go are we getting it woke up oh we didn't get woke up our insomnia is healed that's nice so we got all of our health back as you can see, we don't have a lot of health, though. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Let's break down this box. Luckily, we can do it with our hands, even though it's dark out. We can do it with our hands, so we'll get some. We'll get a little extra wood this way. There we go. And let's eat that rabbit meat. Eat that down to a little bitty bite. There we go. We do need to get something to drink, but we'll do that in a second. Right now I'm right now I'm uh getting food. So eat that down to a little bitty bite. Eat that one to a little bitty bite. So see now we have four small little portions. And we'll eat that one down to a little bitty bite. Now we got five small little portions, and we can turn those into acorn grounds. It's a little cheaty way to get a little more food out of your stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and drink that down to get some water. Drink that down to get some water. And drink that one down to get some water. There we go. And then we'll just sleep one more time here real quick until it gets light out. Lighter, let's put it that way, lighter. I did grab my bedroll, Might right? Drop some gear. Okay, I did. Okay. No, I want my crappy bow out. Our crappy bow is almost gone, which is nice. Um I want to go I want to go up over here and map. I don't know if it's the smartest move though right now or not. So what exactly is the contamination? It's like it's like toxic sludge basically. It's the t it's toxic it's it's like toxic toxic runoff uh, from like mining operations. If I'm if I'm correct, I th I think that's I think that's what it is. It's all the ooky gookies, Heinrich, that they leave over from all the from all the uh, the mining they've done in the zone in the area. Last time, Canada does, does actually produce a large amount of uranium. Really? I did not know that. Me for Florida with the 40 month resub. <laughs> Thank you for that 40 month resub over on the Twitch side. Appreciate that very much, my friend. My fingers feel Obviously, this is not the way we go to get there. Woo! Well, thank you so much. Here I fact check. Canada is the world's second largest producer of uranium behind Kakistan. 2009, 20% of the world's primary uranium production came from mines in Canada. Interesting. That's very that's very interesting, Miss Pac-Man. I did not know that. So there, video games teach us stuff. They teach us things. 
By the way, I did check out the first couple episodes of the Fallout series, the Fallout TV show. It actually is pretty good. I mean, it's it's interesting for sure. Hello, bunny. I have no, you know, basis of uh, history with uh, the Fallout series or anything, so I don't know anything about any of the stuff that's going on. But um, but it seems kind of cool. It's got a cool story so far. I don't know how the ghoul guys live like 200 and something years, but, you know, I just take it that that's part of the world. It was right at that little hill there. I have a feeling we're getting some bad weather here, though. We're going to go ditch in the cave here real quick. Because it seems like bad weather's coming. And we are cold right now, so... Probably be a smart move for us to go inside here. Okay. Go ahead and try to repair up our pants. All right, pants are back to 98. Boots are at 87. Pants at 98. Okay, that's that's a lot better. Let's harvest those gloves up. That just takes cloth to repair. I thought I thought it was going to take more than the cloth. Okay. That was our last uh, sewing kit too. Poop out the poop out the crappy sewing kit here. Bye bye. You have a little more coffee here too, which is kind of nice. We can make that up if we want to. It looks like I do need to make a little bit more water, possibly. We do have another black bear hide here, although our bear stuff is in good shape. This deer skin, even though it's almost cured, I'm just going to kind of leave it for right now because I don't think we need to... I don't think we need to uh, do anything with it at the moment. We got lots of rabbit hides. Oh, I actually can put that... I can actually put that in there, can't I? Let's put, let's put all these things that I was just throwing on the ground... I forgot I had a little storage here. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put the sewing kit, and the stone, and the tinder plugs in there. hides i think i think that's actually a fresh one isn't it yes it is that's from the rabbit that i just killed yesterday as a matter of fact but we definitely have enough guts now which is nice and we got hides all right um is there anything else Drop all those. Drop a few more sticks. Have a little bit of cedar or a little bit of a uh, little bit of coal on me, so we'll take it one more piece there. Rose hip teas. Let's just put some more of those in there. Rushy T, let's take a couple more out of there. Alright, we're definitely, we're below weight, so that's good. 
How much water do I have? A point four eight. So not very much water. We'll take another liter of water with us. Get a little bit of food here. I have a few cattails here. It's gonna go. No, it doesn't. You shush. Okay, so we got 64 cattails on us. There's a jerry can as well. I'm gonna grab my cups and my cans and my things of coffee just to have them. I know you're tired, buddy, but that's okay. So we're going to head back over the mountain. We're going to basically cut over the mountain back to the concentrator, and then I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go into the... Uh, we might drop some stuff off, but then we'll go in... Oh, there's, is there a maple or birch up here? Really? Then we'll, I think we'll go... We'll tr we're going to go try to go back... Yeah, if I can talk. We're going to go and try to go into the concentrator. Uh, the, the Rudiger's... Uh, thing for uh, I'm having a mini stroke, boys and girls. I apologize for buried echoes. My brain just was not wanting to function there for some reason. We're gonna soon have to. We're gonna soon have to do another fundraiser for my stroke fund. Jeez Louise, man. I think this is the path that we take. I'm pretty sure. There's a little secret path over here that you take that goes over to a... Uh... Over to a log. Oh, here we are. Yep, yep, yep. Sweet niblets, okay. Rudiger's fancy machine, yes. Rudiger's machine of unknown what does it do. We still have no idea what that machine does. The Rudiger's WTF machine. I think I think that's a I think that's an apt description of it. His fancy machine that does things. build a warm-up fire here because I don't want to get cold and we could do it with a mag lens so why not <laughs> if you can build a fire with a mag lens like why not we can build the fire throw one piece of coal on it and we'll be warm so and then we can map real quick as well have 300 hours into into planet crafter now it's an addictive game man you can you can get hooked on that one pretty darn easily Drink down a coffee. I'm 
Carmigan's up here. Where are they? They're glitched, whatever it is. But how are you doing today, bad boy gamer? I hope you're feeling better, man. There we go. Now they won't make any noise anymore. <laughs> silly, silly, silly. Not sick anymore? Oh, nice. Able to carry this load for much longer. I know you were sick there for a long time, bad boy gamer, so I'm glad I'm glad you are feeling better now, so that is very good news. Yeah, I think, let's see, where am I at on hours in this? Shona Mona, hello, hello. Where am I at in hours on Planet Crafter? The Planet Crafter. I right, see, I'm only at 183, 143 hours on Planet Crafter. Hey, Wildcat Girl just got... The 100,000 Terra tokens uh, thing. Dire Nell's just got uh, Reach Full Blue Sky, Vegetables in Space. I've got 37 of the 55 achievements unlocked. I don't know what ones I don't have unlocked at this point. Oh, the Terra tokens, craft 10 items. Craft 10 items? Why would I not, why would I not have crafting 10 items done? Craft 100 items. Those must be new ones. Craft an animal shelter. Bake a cookie. Craft a portal generator. I've done all that. That's weird. I've done all that. I think your DLC is bugged. You're 40 days in, not a single ptarmigan. Uh, best start in Planet Crafter is right near the waterfall. See, I, I kind, I kind, I'm, a, I'm a classic. I, I like, I like the classic start spot in Planet Crafter. I like the cla I like the classic. It's a, it's a fun place to start. I'll get a little broth going on. Get a little water going on. Chop up some more ptarmigan meat. You're talking about the the waterfall that eventually happens, right? The one the one there right above the mushroom underground area, genie girl. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, okay. There is a lot of good stuff right around there. There is a lot of good stuff around there, especially if you go over the hill into the crater down there, you can get so much uh, um, iridium.
I have a regular survival and a hardcore save. Drink down some of that water just to get ourselves rehydrated. Throw another couple of coal on there. Uh, we can take our medicine now. Let's see, how many days are we at? 12? Okay. <laughs> well, we're almost halfway done with our with our intestinal parasites. <laughs> Yikes. Have you already got a plan on how to conquer these mountains? Not really. I mean, we're just we're gonna basically we're basically gonna walk our way up. We're gonna walk our way up because there's a drop off that goes over into this area. But unf unfortunately, unfortunately, the uh, you know we'll never be able to get all of this blackened area out. It it's sad, but. That's just how it is. We'll be able to get a lot of it out. As you can see, we've already gotten a bunch of area up here. There's that ptarmigan nest. We've gotten a bunch of it out already, which is nice. Uh, out of all the people I watched for their State of Decay 2 gameplay, all, uh, the, all are doing Stardew Valley. Is there something I missed? I don't know. I mean, I know Stardew Valley had some... Had some, uh, some thing come out lately that was like, uh, some, uh, patch or something like that. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Twenty-one peeps all doing Stardew. I just, I just never could get into Stardew. I just could never get into Stardew Valley. I don't know what it was. It's not It's not that it's a bad game or anything. I just didn't ever get into it. You're living in the twilight zone. I just want some more feathers. got left. I got one little tiny piece of ptarmigan left. I'll drink down some of our broth, because why not? How much water do I got left now? Got a couple liters of water. Tomorrow, I'm also going to get some white chocolate edibles. All right. Well, enjoy. All right. We'll get that going on. That's just going to give us a little more water. There we go. Grab that and that. Let's drink some water too. Yeah, I'm hoping Henrik the, the, that. Well, I, w I wish that the uh, I wish that the Polaroids would would help with that. 
Because I that's that's what the Polaroids really helped with in the other zones. Is the Polaroids when you map the Polaroid, it would help get rid of a lot of the uh, a lot of the little black area that you couldn't uh, that you couldn't get rid of otherwise. And unfortunately, in these zones, the Polaroids are not that great. I think 10 milligrams might be too much for me since it's been a while. Is all they got, though. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about it. I know nothing. Um, okay, so we got that down. Let's drink a little water. Let's pluck the rest of these feathers real quick. Kind of chilling out here by our fire. Doing our thing. Pulling feathers off of ptarmigans. In Rhode Island, it's perfectly legal to get cigs is harder than pot in this state <laughs> to get to getting cigs is harder than getting pot i can believe that the war on cigarettes has been going on for a while which i mean you know i i, I figure people could do what they want to do but it's funny it, it, i just find it humorous how everybody's like all against cigarettes but everybody's all for weed it's the same crowd like Okay, well, yeah, cigarettes aren't great for you, but anything you put in your body that's not oxygen or anything you put in your lungs that's not oxygen is probably not doing you the best the best stuff. I'd eat snow for hypothermia. I know you'd eat snow. Just chill out, I'll give you some. Personally, I think it's a psyop. The government wants to keep us down. The, gov the, gov the government likes us stoned and happy. We're easier to control then, that's for sure. We don't put up as much of a fight. Get your tinfoil hats out, boys and girls. We're going in deep. <laughs> Actually, I probably could map right over here. <laughs> or well, afternoon. Yes. Well, it's 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 still morning here, Teresa. It's still morning here. We still got morning time. Let's go get a few more charcoal out of this here. Then we're going to head up over the mountain. There we go. I've, all, I've always been one of those people that it's very much like, hey, if you're just doing it at your house and you're just chilling out, I don't care. Do whatever you want. As long as you ain't hurting somebody else, you know. It's your choice. It's ultimately your choice to do it. Oh god, yeah, when I messed up I make it a day thing. Exactly. Uh, let's drink down the rest of that. And let's drink down one of those. And for those of you just coming in, we did get the GoFundMe going for my brother. Uh, the page is, is just, it's just popping it up there every once in a while. You can always type in exclamation point fundraiser in the chat. And it'll pop it up on the YouTube as well as the Twitch side. It does it on both of them. We do have that. We do have the GoFundMe up for my brother, whose house got smacked by a tree the other day, which is just fantastic. So, 
I appreciate I appreciate everybody who's uh, contributed to it so far. Um, we're up to three hundred and ten dollars. We have a goal of three thousand, which is basically I set that goal because that's kind of that's his that's his uh, d just his deductible on his on his insurance basically. So if we could raise that, that would be great. If not, that's fine. Every penny helps, so it's not like you know. It's it's not like it's not like we have to raise that, but man, it would sure help out if we could. So, but yeah, it was quite exciting when I got out to his place. It was like wow, I've never seen a tree all the way through somebody's house like that. Just want to lay down. The metal container over here, really. Oh, it's right there. Who left a metal container up here? And there's a soda by it and a can of sardines. What? Is that a snow shelter? No way. That's a snow shelter over there. It's probably ruined at this point, but that's kind of wild. No power in the verse can stop. Mike, thank you for the uh, follow there on Twitch. I appreciate that very much. It is actually a snow shelter up here. And there's a little fire by it, too. Huh. Oh, it's one of those glitch snow shelters. There's double snow shelter here. You can see it from this angle. Oh, there's just one. There was just one. It was still kind of glitched, but there was just one of them. Let's go behind El Trio here. One thing I do like is there's a lot of little hidey spots up here that you can build fires in. Do I have no sticks at all? Do I really have no sticks? I have two pieces of coal and no sticks. Okay. That's the only torch I have. Oh, I do have that torch there. Let's break that down real quick. That'll give us our stick. Then we can get our fire we can get a fire going here real quick. I forgot I used up most of my fuel last night on that fire down there. Just to just to sleep through the night. Come on, little fire. Throw a piece of coal on there. Oh, that helped a bunch. Okay, cool, cool. Um. Wow. Let's eat a crappy can of sardines. Yum, yum. Eat up a cup of coffee. Oh, and then a storm comes in. Are you effing kidding me right now? Of course. Of course a storm comes in. <laughs> right now. Of course it does. Do you get material back from the snow shelter? If the snow shelter is 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 particularly ruined, you do not know. Shadow in the light, how you doing? Ramoyan, how's it going? I am avoiding being contaminated, which is good. We're doing okay on the on the mapping. We're, we're, we're getting this kind of cleared out on this side. Unfortunately, a snow we were heading down this way. And this snowstorm came up, which kind of sucks. But we're pushing through. But Shadow in the Light, it has been a while. It's good to see you, though. So, to get a, if the snow shelter is in decent shape, you can get cloth and sticks back from it. If the snow shelter is in okay shape, you'll get some sticks back. And if the snow shelter is in really bad shape, you'll get nothing back. So, it, it pretty much just depends on what kind of condition... A snow shelter is in. 
And to be honest, most of the time, you don't get anything back from them. Well, that's about four hours of fire right there. If the fire doesn't get blown out, that is. If. If ifs and buts were candied nuts, we would all be fat. All right. Um... We'll do that. Yeah, unfortunately, most snow shelters are ruined, so. Make a bandage real quick. Got our bandages made. And there goes the fire. That's sort of what I thought was going to happen. All right, let's drink down a birch bark, a hot birch bark tea. And let's go, baby. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we have to push all the way through now. Which really sucks, because I wanted to map this up, but now we can't. I found one decent one in Ash Canyon on the way to the gold mine and saved my eight during a blizzard. Yep, it, it, can, it actually can really save you during a blizzard if you find a good one. I don't even know which way to go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. We are just gonna go. See, we could be mapping all this all the way down here. But the game's like, nah. There's a ravaged wolf right there. Has a couple feathers around him. I don't think we can get back up here. No, this is a one. This is a one way down. Yeah, so this is a one way down right here. I mean, it literally drops you right in back of this here. But there's no way back up, which kind of sucks. I just wish, I just, Jesus Christ me. I just wish there was a way back up into that. Never felt so cold in my life. Yeah, it drops us down into this shed here. Then our shed is right next door to it. That's where we, that's where we will go. And then we also need to take our medicine. And then we only have 10 days left of intestinal parasites. days left yay 10 more days 10 more days halfway there
I do have bandages in there. I didn't realize that. Bippity bop. Okay, we can put some of that inside there if we wanted to. I'm just going to fill that up because we have enough coffee that we can make. There's ten more of those. I'll keep a couple extra too. I'll put one of those in there. Hey, Connor! Can't say because I'm a work, but I want to say thank you, everyone, for all the thoughts about my dad's house being destroyed by the tree that fell. This community is amazing. Thank you for coming by, Connor. That is actually my nephew. That's my brother's kiddo. He's at work, but thank you for coming by and saying thank you to everybody uh, for all the kind contributions everybody's made uh, towards the uh, towards the cause. All right, Shadow in the Light. Have a good one, man. Take care, buddy. But indeed, everybody has been super, super generous. Love you too, bud. Have a, have a, have a great rest of your day at work. All right. Um, what's this drawer at right now? 9.83. That's a lot of flares we have. That's a lot of flare that drawer has. I'm just trying to get myself down to a little better weight. I'm going to throw that birch bark in there. Actually, you know, I'll hang on to the birch bark. Oh, we do need to drop that birch sapling. I'm going to grab a few feathers. All right, take it. Have a great one. Thank you so much for coming by, Tegeta. Thank you for helping out. I really appreciate it. Very, very much. Ah. Woo! That storm is nasty out there. Okay, storm went away. So sucky, too. That we, uh... That we're kind of, like, stuck here. <laughs> Drink down that soda. Drink the gourmet broth. Eat a cattail. We still have a box of crackers left. And we still have two prepper pies left, which is really nice. And we still we're still carrying around our rat our ruined rabbit pies. That's just for a little extra carry weight if we need it. Okay. Sharpen up the whetstone. I don't think I need where I'm going. I do not need the the Travoy. Put that in there. Um, I think. Let's see. What are my other jerry cans at? Two point eight seven, three point six six. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the one point six on me. take that with us. Let's go ahead and prepare up the rose hips. 
There we go. Get the rose hips prepared up. And then I think we'll go in and we'll investigate Rudiger's machine. Prepare up the mushrooms too, just because why not? I have enough mushrooms. Excuse me. And we do have the key to get in up top, so we'll go do that. Um, I probably won't need... I don't think I need any of the mapping stuff for right now. I'm going to take my hacksaw. Do I, have my pry do I have a pry bar with me? I do not have a pry bar with me. Let's grab a pry bar. Got a little bit of water. I got my cattails for food. Do I need the cooking oil on me? I don't think so. Actually, with those... Oh, that's a that's a full thing of oats. Oh, that's a full thing of oats. I'll just take that. That'll be food for us. Is there a wolfy boy out here? Wolf coming right at us here. He smells me because I have pies on me, so I'm just trying to draw him in and crouch shoot him if I can. There we go. Much easier. Much easier than trying to shoot him while they're charging you. Those those guys, they run like the they run like the the roadrunner. They're like Speedy Gonzalez. They're like Arriba, Arriba, Andale, Andale! They run at you very quickly, and it's very scary. All right. In we go. And then we're going to go up. This away. Into the concentrator. Drink some water. Everyone loves pie. Yes, they do, Dyer. Everyone loves some pie. Everybody loves some pie around here, so. All right, that gets us up a little higher on the concentrator. We don't have to go up as many levels. I'm going to kind of leave my lights off if I can, because I, I, can, I can see pretty good in here. I might just give you guys... Yeah, I'll give you guys night vision. That'll that'll help you see a little bit better. It's, it's, a little, it's a little dark in here. I can see my way through. And some areas like that are very bright. But a lot of it's kind of cast in shadows a bunch. We've already searched the entire concentrator. There may be one or two things that we haven't searched in here, but we've searched like 99% of it, so. Gonna grab some planks just in case we need some wood. Mm. 
All right, here we go. Bump it, bump it, bump it, bump it, bump, bump. I'm pretty sure we got the key for this thing. Grab, we got bolt cutters and a key and... Is that a piece of wood? No. There we go. Yay, we did it. Have we got all the miner's gear? Yeah, I got all the miner's gear. I don't I don't really ever wear the miner's gear though. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. There's a fire pit right here, which is nice. But yeah, Matthew, I, I have got, I, I think I even got the helmet, but I, I just left it behind. Unfortunately, the miner's gear really doesn't do a lot for us. There's a journal, there's a log right there. Oh, we got another canister, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go, uh, let's just dump. Most of that here. Dump that here too. Let's grab this log. Here we go. I can probably make it back to the surface before the weather turns again. Yes, I got the gas mask. Recording as much as I can. The writing helps keep me here. Otherwise, my mind wanders. Sea. To the sea. To small ships in deep water. My mother's voice. And she's going crazy. Search the lock zone of the mine for any signs of Rudiger. Search the concentrator and head frame facility for clues or tools to help locate Rudiger's machine. Did I not find them all? Hmm. That's on my hot my hot bar, right? Yes it is, okay. Oh Rudiger, we're coming for you. Rudy, where are you? He's just he's just rude. That's what it comes down to. He's just rude. Casey Canby, how you doing? Is this the storyline? This is part of the storyline, yes. Let's go left. We always go left. I always go left. That's just my that's just my MO. This is part of the story, yes. There there's there's two there's two story things they introduced with Tales from the Far Territory. There's Signal Void, which we already completed, and there's the Buried Echoes, which we are doing right now. Okay, that's a dead end. But it's good we went down it. You know, hey, it's always good to go down the dead end anyway. Even if it's a dead end. But Casey, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, um, you know, y yesterday my I went out, went out to my brother's place and checked out all the damage on his house. And that was pretty, that was pretty discouraging. But luckily everybody's safe. So it doesn't really, you know, everything else can be fixed and replaced. But... I'm gonna dump some of this coal off out here. So this is not part of Winter Mute, um, if that if that's what you're wondering. This doesn't have anything to do with the Winter Mute storyline. This is just part of the this is part of the storyline that they put into the game. Uh, my brother's house had a big tree uh, fall uh, fall down on it. I went back at Ramoyne to drop the coal off. Yeah, my brother had a tree fall on his house yesterday and go right through his 
kitchen and his living room and just basically just demolished the entire thing. Went through the roof all the way down into the house. Oh yeah, it was bad. Oh. Hello. Yeah, it kind of sucked. So, uh, yeah, I went out and helped him a little bit with that yesterday, and I then went and got a GoFundMe set up for him. Um, and, uh, and, uh, um, we got the GoFundMe page up now for, uh, for trying to help cover some of his expenses, because he's gonna have, he's gonna have a bunch of expenses as far as, uh, insurance and stuff goes. Okay, there's several different spots that we can go down. Oh, there's a thing here. Who is the character we're following? Uh, this is uh, this is Will. This is our Will character. This is not our Endless Knight. And so far, we've raised like $300 on the fundraiser, so that's awesome. Bring some kind of doctor in. Okay. Just to talk. They okay. Say. Just to talk. Just to talk. None of the guys on my team believe a word of it. Ever since we flipped the switch on that machine, no one seems settled. Mm hmm. We want to get paid, sure, but it was just an old tree. This hole in the ground too. I've got to put a stop to this. It was just an old tree. He has uh he has uh guys coming out to uh. To uh, uh, cut it down, remove it today. So, there we go. Now, there were some spots back there that we could go down. I'm curious to see what's down here, though. Did you explore the foreman's cabin inside the head frame building or how it's called? It's the one that's connected to the concentrator? Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. You're talking about the, the, the room that was locked in there, right? Because there was that locked room in that in that first building out there. Or maybe it's the second building. It's one, it's one of those first buildings. I know you do, buddy. You're really tired. And as usual, we go left. Oh, and then it dead ends. Of course, and then as usual, it dead ends. Yeah, we'll 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 stay we'll stay in the gas for a little while. And then we'll put on our, our protective gear here in a second. There we go. I wonder what happens if you take it off. Does it take you back to where you were? Yeah, it does. Going left once again. Dead end. Fuel, but that's okay. Dead end. Hope I don't run into any cave monsters. I hope I don't, Henrik. Heinrich, but thank you. Uh, thank you for coming by and hanging out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave something behind. We're leaving nothing behind, my friends. Nothing. Okay, 
doesn't appear to be any gas here. Way down there. Sort of want to explore a little bit more up here, but I need to sleep. Just a couple hours. Nothing big. There we go. Then let's take another dose of. There we are. Too heavy. Nine days left. Okay, let's drop that because it's ruined. Break that arrow down. Fill our lantern back up again. Harvest these couple pieces of clothing that we found. We've got a little extra clothing now. They're all ruined, so we might as well just get rid of them. Eat a little bit of food, because anything we have in our belly... It's stuff that we don't have to be carrying. head down this direction now see what's down here this pack is getting kind of heavy yeah I know it is metal container I like that nothing in it well I liked it till there was nothing in it Keeping an eye on the timer. And we're out of it. Okay. We can make it through no problem. So we don't even need our gas mask right there. To make it through that. Oh, here's another here's another thing. Ooh. What what are you? You never are. I tried to reason with him. To get him to see what this had all cost us. Rudiger had other plans. The transmission site over the mountains. <laughs> He's always had a way out. Always. He risked nothing. So I came back down to try and smash this thing or do something anything I think I'll just close my eyes for a little while keeping the eye on the timer it's the thrill of the fight hey Triplewood how you doing buddy A lot of coal here.
Danger to keep out. Okay, so there's... We came in that way. I guess we just go to the left and keep going to the left here. Uh-oh. Take our socks and shoes off so they don't get wet here. Partially covered track with water. But how you doing, Triple Wood? I hope you're having a great day. We are in in the mine. Trying to track down what happened with Rudiger and crew. It's weird because it's saying I I, 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 I I did not do this. So I, I don't know. Maybe I missed something in the concentrator or the head frame. I may have missed something in there. So I may have to go back there for something. I thought I had checked the whole thing, but maybe I did not. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I don't, I don't have a way, I don't have a key to get in there. Well, that sucks. All good, sick of snow, it snowed this morning. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry that it was snowing. It's uh, 50 degrees and cloudy here. So I wonder where the key for that is. <sighs> Around what in centigrade? Oh, geez. I don't know. What, what's, uh... So about 10 degrees, about 10, 10 Celsius. Something's making me feel tired. Ooh, what are you? Oh, snappity doodle day. Pass the frick out. All right, we got the foreman's tool belt. Every man's journey, there's a moment of total clarity when blue sky, oh, this is what he just said. This, this is what he just, that's what we just heard. We added a faded photograph. I wanted to feel your hand on my hip. Your smile in my eyes. I 
I can't picture what this thing is without that. Or you. Everything is fading away here. I keep seeing my spot up above, near the waterfall. I want to escape. All oh, that water on its way to the sea. That didn't end well. We're just waiting now. I've uh, been I know it is creepy almost, cool. Uh, up and down. So now we have a new objective of laying her bones to rest, although I guess we still have this search the concentrator and head frame facility. We, we, we still have that to go. So that's kind of wild. if there's anything else in here I can grab. Nope, I don't think so. It is pretty creepy cool. Let's fill that back up again. Eat a little food, drink a little water. I wonder if I have to have a special key or if this is a just open now. I may have I may have missed the key somewhere along the line. may need to go deeper into the mine to unlock this area over here. It's just, it's part of the story. So cool. That leads up.
I don't think we can get up there. Nope. Cold, cold. Cold, cold. Where does this go? Wait, does this go back into the... This just goes back into the mining building. Oh, wow. Okay. That's this sort of your shortcut out. Must have missed something in these in these rooms here. office container. Yeah, I don't know how I missed it, but I must have. I don't know how I missed it, but I must have done I must not got it. Let's see, where's that damn office at? I think it's upstairs, isn't it? I missed, I missed, I missed something here. I missed one of the two. I missed one of these two things. I'm getting weaker. Yeah, I'm really super tired. Wait, it's not here? Okay. Yeah, I'm super tired. Let's just sleep till morning. Let's just sleep till morning. We're super tired right now. We ain't gonna go. We ain't going nowhere fast, so. Uh, I'm not real sure, Ramoyne. <laughs> Okay, this is not it here. See, there's this office here, which we already opened. I would do anything for a drink right now. Is this the is this the office you were talking about, Peace Dog? Ah, there it is. It was our first day back down below. I never read this. Boss and his people arrived. <laughs> he called us together and had us all sign new paperwork. Boilerplate stuff, but uh, it had us wondering what's well, changed. Then he gave a speech, as he likes to do, only this time in front of the gadget. I almost bought it, but then again, I've never been too practical. 
least not enough to I think this might have been it. it took for it's a the long clue time, that we missed. In the end, we were able to restart our work on the machine. We on the machine. The track connecting the concentrator to the ridge above. Better access if we need to move in more generators. Need all the juice we can find. Did I mention I need to get the hell out of here? No, you did not. No power in reverse can stop I me. Think, I think that was the piece that we needed. Find a way to the tracks connecting the concentrator to the ridge above. Um, I, I think I've I think I've done some things in the wrong order. I think I think I did a couple things in the wrong order, boys and girls. I'm not gonna lie. Deedum, thank you for the follow there. I appreciate that. Let's go dump some stuff off over here real quick. Yeah, we kind of, uh, screwed the poochie on that one a little bit. It's okay, though. It's okay. We just, we just dove right into Rudiger's machine, you know? We were just so excited to go visit Rudiger that we just couldn't wait. Hello, Mr. Feather. Look at all the fuel you get here too. Isn't that crazy? That is like crazy amounts of fuel you get in this place. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Triple Wood, for the 100 bits. I appreciate that very much. Uh, do, 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 that in there. Actually, you know what I could do? I could just make, I could make myself some, uh, some water inside. And then I could boil myself up some porridge and stuff. Eat some cattails down. But thanks again, Triple Wood, for the 100 bits. I do appreciate that very much. Appreciate the support there, my friend. Ooh. Oh, I do have that tool belt. But you can wear the tool belt if you want. So what, what's my what's my weight at right now? 40, 40.1. If I put the tool belt on, it goes down to 38. So it, it saves about a almost two kilos if I wear the tool belt. But then I lose a couple degrees of warmth. You get a free lift now. <laughs> The tool belts are Guga that you get out of the get out of the mine. I'm not that excited about it. It's kind of okay. It's kind of meh. Ooh. Excuse me. I need at least one stick to start a fire. Um, it basically it just lowers the weight of some of your tools, triple wood. 
it has no it has no practical effect as far as like you you you, uh, you you don't get to like attach tools to it it just takes away from your overall tool weight whatever counts as a tool it takes that it takes the weight away uh in my case it took away almost two kilos It's not the worst thing. It's not the greatest thing. Hey, John, how you doing, buddy? Give you guys night vision in here again. But hey, at least we got to see Rudiger's cool little machine. We know that's what's making the electrostatic fog. What percentage of mapping is left? Oh god, we have... Why is it not show... Oh, there we go. We still have a little bit up here in the mountains, then we have this whole area over here still mapped. So I'd say probably 20%. 20% uh, mapping still to go would be my guess. Maybe a little bit more. You put it, uh, you put it on instead of insulation. Yeah, I, well, I put, I put the tool belt on there instead of the insulation, but then I just put the insulation back on because I, I, I don't like the. Uh, I don't like the uh, uh, the tool belt as much. The tool belt. It would be nice if we had another accessory slot, but as it is, it's not. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Hey, red caps, going pretty good, man. Is this the is this gonna finish that part that we were just doing? I think it did. And <laughs> now it's telling me, search the rest of the mine for a way to the lock zone. <laughs> When we've already been to the lock zone and through the lock zone and yeah what does the tool belt does it gives you a little less carry weight not by much though it's not it's not a the tool belt doesn't give you a ton of ton less carry weight Ooh. Ooh. But otherwise, it's going pretty good today. Going pretty good. I'm just going to make up some water here. Yeah, I found the missing item, Ramoyne. It was it was just a clipboard that I had not got. And so I did I did stuff out of order which is kind of annoying but what you gonna do there's not much I can do about it at this point so now we just have to run back down to where Rudiger's machine is we, we basically did parts of the quest out of order like oh well because yeah see we, we we have to search the deepest points and search the rest of the mine for the way to the lock zone well we already got the way to the lock zone so we already know how to get there
But yeah, if we had another accessory slot, I would probably utilize the, uh... I would probably utilize that tool belt, but with no extra accessory slot, it's kind of like, nah. I'm good. I'm gonna leave a couple waters here. We can always come back up here and grab them. Actually, I'll take one more water with me. Let's just get some sleep here real quick. Let's go ahead and take our medicine. Woo! Ah, uh, thanks, Red Cap. Yeah, it, it was pretty. It was pretty crazy. We got, we did get the GoFundMe up, so we got that going on, which is nice. And people have been very, very generous with it too, which is super awesome. So. Okay, yeah, we already got we already got that. Okay. So let's sleep our sleep our 10 hours. So yeah, we got we were able to get the we were able to get the uh the fundraiser up. So we're doing all that all this week on the channel so that people can people can contribute because there were several there were a lot of viewers who were like, "Hey, could I, you know, I'd like to chip in 5 bucks, 10 bucks, whatever, you know, I'd like to help out." Uh, Rusty Brazen Fire like was like was so generous yesterday. He donated like 250 bucks towards the cause, which was just insane. But uh, and then Faith Faith did another 50, and then we've had a, a bunch of people uh, donate to the uh, donate to the cause on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, GoFundMe page uh, so far. We've now raised 350 dollars on the GoFundMe page. Thank you, whoever. With that anonymous there, I don't. I, people's names are there, but I'm not gonna call them out because some people might want to leave it, you know, might, might want to leave it so it's it, you know they, they don't want people to have, know their names or whatever. But uh, yeah, we've now raised three hundred and fifty dollars total on there, plus the two fifty that that Brazen Rusty also gave. So you know that's like close to what six hundred or so. So that's really that's really sweet of people. That you guys are you guys are just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So thank you everybody so very much. Alright, let's go let's go back down, boys and girls. So we're gonna keep the GoFundMe page up there. Uh we're gonna be promoting it this week. And then we're going to keep it up there and hopefully we can reach our goal. Uh, I set a goal of 3,000 on it because that's basically my brother's... Uh, that's like his his base... Um, what do you want to call it? The, the deductible that he has with his homeowner's insurance. Is he has a base, he has a base 3,000 3, deductible with them. So even if we could just raise that or even just part of it, you know... To help it to help to be able to pay for some of it that would be great so oh, there's a blue torch here oh wait are we out of the gas oh we're out of the gas now I wonder what's down here Oh, this is just a shortcut. That's awesome. That's just a little shortcut there. like down here you can kind of get through a lot of it without the gas mask as long as you just kind of like keep moving you can't loiter
Yep, kids. Here's here's where we're going. Well, that's not the locked zone. Okay. Maybe it's talking about the. Uh, oh, I bet it's talking about the area over here that was locked. It's not locked anymore. I skipped over so much stuff. Whoopsie. Would I do that? Yes, I did. And I did. Yeah, freezing. Yeah, freezing. Search the rest of the mine for a way into the locked zone. Well, I am. I, I, I'm now. I'm just now. I'm just confused as to what it wants me to do. Now I'm just confounded and confused. I never went down this path though. I think I broke the game. Yeah, I think I broke it. I did the game. I I gamed I gamed wrong. Gamed wrongly. That's my fault. But I don't. I hope I don't die from poison gas down here. That would really suck. clear down here no it was not okay shoot oh geez louise um this could be bad boys and girls
Yeah, but see, I'm sitting here doing this, and I'm, I'm, and it's wasting up my, it's wasting my stim, it's wasting my time. Uh oh, uh oh, this could be bad. My last filter. Last filter. All right, we're good now. I don't rest your number. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what it wants me to find down here. I don't know what the searching the rest of the mine for the way into the lock zone is. Cause I've already been to the lock zone. I've already been there. Okay, so I have no idea. I have no idea what it wants me to look for now. I did get a key. I don't know what that key's for. I have no idea what that key is for, though. Yikes, folks! Big yikes! Read about it? There's no, there's no information on it. Um, that'd probably be under, what, mementos, maybe? A mine lockbox key. A key to a lockbox in the Langston mine. That's what it is. And I'm not sure where that lockbox even is. I could not even tell you where that light lockbox is. Please, please. Please, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. <sighs> yeah, filters don't last very long, do they? Okay, so now we're back up here. Okay. Now we're now we're back up here. That's fine. The new route, the shortcut by there, I think. So should I go da should I go down? Is that what you're thinking, Ramoyne? I should go down there? I just, I just don't, I just can't risk the filters now. I have like no filters left. That's my biggest problem. Are the gas where the machine is? I think so. Well, not super close to it. A 
Have I been here before? No, I have not. Another jerry can. Good lord. Find enough jerry cans? Oh yeah, I'm gonna save that filter. another filter. Woo! Jerry's cans, they were big, man. 1.61. That's a pretty big can. Pretty big Jerry's can right there. They're like number four. Maybe there'll be some more filters in here. Three. Nineteen. And fifty-nine. This will come in. <laughs> Another ear. We, we now have two we now have two extra ear wraps. I, mean, I think I think I think that makes what two ear two ear wraps now? Yeah, we've got two extra ear wraps now. That is hilarious. I was hoping for more filters. Not more ear wraps. And I got an extra pry bar now too. Good lord, land of Goshen. We went down both those paths there. That led us nowhere. All right, so those are all gone. Got two paths left to row. Okay, so that one's blocked. Some canned goods. Some pants. So all of these, all of these paths here are just, this is just... The second, the second floor of this mine is just the second floor of the mine. Oh no, there's another, there's another, there's another path off this side. Okay, okay, another path off this side. Let's go ahead and take a chill break for a second. Drink, drink a little tea for our stomach ache. We've got eight days, eight days left of intestinal parasites. Oh boy. At least we have one more filter. We've got one more filter, boys and girls. So that that right there helps a bunch. Eat down these canned goods real quick. I need something to drink. You, soon. You're fine. Just be okay. It's okay. Hey, Jack Pistachio, how you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Toast with real butter tastes nice. Yes, it does. Love me some toast and butter. All right.
quiet. It's too quiet. Um, I'm not super familiar with the zone either. I accidentally ate some bear meat that was raw, uh, triple wood. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. I have just, I, I just had two slices. I'm thinking of making two more. It's addictive, Ramoyne. You 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 have those first two slices, and you're like, "That was really good." And then you just you keep you keep thinking about them. Keep thinking about it. Well, I have only been in the zone a couple of times, so I'm not super familiar with it either. This mine is super extensive. Lots of poison gas in it. I was gonna break those miners' pants down. Hoping there'd be some more canisters or something around here. I think if you go down into here, there is a. I think that, yeah, there, there's a place that you can go down there. You vote that I come back after I'm healed up? Where would be the fun in that? Yeah, this just goes down. I don't think the crates have any canisters in them, to be honest. I don't think they do. Yep, I've already been here. This is, I think this is the way out. Maybe. Yeah, we've already been here. Yep. Oh, I'm so nervous. How's it going, bro? There's my brother right there, boys and girls. Blazer fan 0022. How's it going, bro? Yeah, did they come out and get the uh, did they come out and get the tree chopped down for you? Did they get that all squared away for you today? I hope they did. And 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 thank you everybody uh so far, so far we've raised $350 on the on the GoFundMe for my brother. So, thank you everybody who's contributed to that. It's in the process right now. Yeah, it's probably going to take a it's probably going to take a hot second for them to get that all uh, cut up and and gone, huh? Well, bro, if it gets if it gets later and you need me, you want me to come out? Oh. After they after they get it um after they get the after they get the tree out if you want me to come out later this afternoon and uh, help you get the back of it covered up and uh, you know maybe get some stuff cleaned up inside uh, let me know uh, if you want me to do that I can come I, I'm gonna be streaming until about three 
Um, and I can come out anytime after that and help you out. So, uh, if you if you want to do that, uh, just give me a holler, let me know, and I'll I'll come out and I'll come out and give you a hand. So, that sucks. All right, let's go ahead and just get a hour of passing time. Well, I'll just plan on coming out after I get done. Anytime would be great after three or four. Okay, yeah, I'll just plan. I'll plan when I get done with stream. I'll just uh, I'll just come out and uh, give you a hand. So, all right. So, boys and girls, we are going to wrap up our long dark segment there today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more of the endless night gun loper. Uh, so we'll be an endless night gun loper. All right. Talk to you later, bro. Uh, so we're going to do endless night gun loper tomorrow, and we're also going to be playing Planet Crafter tomorrow. But right now, we're going to be switching over and playing some Stellaris. So those of on those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for coming by. We're going to pause the stream. I'm going to go take a break real quick and use the bathroom, grab a snack, uh, grab another drink real quick, and I'll be right back. Um, we'll get the music started, though. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little Stellaris. We're in the last about 50 years of our Stellaris run. Or not 50, about, yeah, probably the last 60, 60 years or so. And things have gone from bad to worse. But I will see you all in just a little bit, YouTubers. Bye!